Hi, I'm Ryan Schwingel from uh, New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology. I'm in the uh, Electrical Engineering Department at New Mexico Tech, uh, working as an undergraduate researcher uh, in Dr. Pullen's lab uh, at the Environmental Chemistry Lab at New Mexico Tech. Okay, well, um, it's a, a dynamic lab space that we've built. Uh, it's really one of the first of its kind. Uh, to ever be constructed and then deployed, uh, especially in a, a, a watershed as pristine as the Via Grande here. Um, we've got the National Instruments real-time uh, controller, which handles all of the data acquisition and control of all of the systems within the trailer. Um, and then, you know, some auxiliary devices in addition to a cellular modem and a router for external communications so we can control the trailer from pretty much anywhere in the world. And then we've got our first piece of equipment in the lab, which is our OI analytical online carbon analyzer, which allows us to look at um, organic carbon and inorganic carbon in, uh, in the freshwater system. Um, it is wired up to the real-time controller, so any readings that we get from it is automatically saved. Uh, along with various troubleshooting data, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to uh, a USB thumb drive, which can be accessed from anywhere in the world. The most important bit, the air conditioner behind you, <laughs> to keep this metal box nice and clean. Yes, for the winter, um, we've got three different heaters on board. Uh, primary is actually in the air conditioner. It's a, a, a heat pump, so the air conditioner runs in reverse in oh, the winter time okay. and it tries to cool the outside air bringing all that warm air in here in the event that it becomes too cold for that to work uh, there's also a 1700 watt uh, heating element in that heater in the event that that can't keep up we've got a uh, radiant heater up front and in the event that we lose power and uh, we still need heat there's a propane fired heater located underneath um, and there will be two 20-gallon uh, propane bottles mounted up front on the tongue of the trailer in the wintertime. Great! Um, on the sample line and the return line going out towards the stream, there's also uh, heat tape spiral wrapped all the way down in the tube in the conduit, hopefully located below frost the level. The frost line, right. So, in the winter, it shouldn't freeze. I really enjoy building instrumentation and um, the, the thing that I find incredible is as a double E you can create instruments that are used everywhere and uh, that are actually needed and um, in our lab we are creating instrumentation that no one else has done and that's pretty exciting especially when it uh, lets us know a little bit of how the climate is changing and, um, you know, everyday parameters that affect all of us. Um, we all obviously need drinking water and uh, the, the water from the Jemez eventually ends up in the Rio Grande, which everyone filters and drinks. Right. So we are making a difference one drop at a time. Future work in the trailer uh, will include several additional instruments in this, uh, this lab space that we've got here. Um, since we've deployed it in the last couple of days, we're still working out all the kinks and we're realizing, oh, we really need this fitting here and that fitting there. So, you know, this whole thing is going to be changing uh, in the coming months and hopefully the next time you come back, you'll be able to see a, a bunch of additional instrumentation. And, a, uh, a little better finished lab space in here.